Hey everybody, it's Allie, the canine nutritionist from Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals. And I wanted to take a few minutes to clarify something that apparently some people are confused about. So, um, we had, hey, we've got somebody who joined. Hello! So, um, I just wanted to clarify something just really quick um, in case there were any members of the group who were confused um, about the definition of a breeder. So what happened was uh, there was a lady in the group who decided that she was going to advertise uh, by posting a picture of the last puppy that is available from her litter of puppies. Um, this is a relatively new member. And so, unfortunately, because she didn't follow our guidelines, hi, Emily. Unfortunately, because she didn't follow our guidelines for how to post a picture of a potentially available puppy, her post was removed. And if you've never had a post removed, um, there is an option for the admin or moderator who's removing the post to select the rule that was violated so that they can better help that person so that they can repost their post, right? And follow the rules. So I removed this person's post and selected the breeder rule, which specifically states that in order to um, show your puppies that you have available um, in our group, you have to A, send me proof of genetic testing, and B, you have to state that they are in fact genetically tested um, when you list them in the group. So this person didn't do that. Her post was removed. I selected the rule so that she would know which rule she broke. And instead of reading the rule and seeing where she went wrong and then trying to rectify that, she decided she was gonna send me a nasty message, which I'm going to read to you now, because apparently people are very confused about what it means to be a breeder. So she said, just posted an innocent picture of my puppy. He is not for sale. Okay. Let, let me stop you right there. Um, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> How about that? As it turns out, I'm a breeder. And I, I know what posts look like on Facebook when somebody's advertising their puppy. Because Facebook doesn't allow puppy sales, um, you, you can't straight up say these puppies are for sale, right? Because you get in trouble with Facebook. So you just list them, say how old they are, what state you're in, right? Various people do this in, in different ways. So this is how she starts out her message to me. My dogs had a litter of puppies, AKC registered poodles. I am not a breeder. Okay, let me stop right there. If I had a dollar for every time somebody said this to me, I would be wealthy beyond imagine, okay? So if you have animals of any kind and you allow them to procreate while under your care, you're a breeder. I know, shocking. It's so shocking. I don't mean to shock you with this information. If you put a male dog and a female dog together, they're probably gonna make more dogs. It's called the cycle of life. Okay, you should look it up. If you have 
two animals and they procreate while under your care. You are a breeder. If you have two cats and they have a litter of kittens, congratulations, you just became a breeder. If you have two dogs that got together and had a litter of puppies, guess what? You're right, you're a breeder. Whether you meant to be or not is irrelevant. Whether you plan to or not is irrelevant. Whether you did it responsibly or you didn't is irrelevant. You are a breeder. So for this person to say to me in two sentences, my dog had a litter of puppies. I am not a breeder. Guys, my, I thought my head was going to explode. I thought I had once again entered the twilight zone. Of mind. A journey into a wondrous land. land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Okay, because I was like... That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop... You realize those two statements... The twilight zone. ...go together. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is what irresponsible breeders say. Oh no, my, my pets just had a litter of puppies that I'm selling, but I'm not a breeder. Okay, well, what are you? Are you an ostrich? Have you transformed into a dragon? Like, what did you suddenly become if you are not, in fact, the thing, the term that describes what you did? What is it that you are? Oh. Oh, I get it. You just don't want to be labeled as a breeder because you don't want to be held responsible for those puppies. You don't want to be held responsible for the cost of genetically testing them and doing all of the other health testing. Oh, you don't want to have to deal with the ridicule from rescue organizations even though you're doing the best you can to be a responsible breeder. Oh, that's why you don't want to be labeled a breeder. Oh, now I understand. Okay, so let's continue with this message. Sorry to cause ban a photo on your page. Okay, that's... I, I, I get what she was going for there, but not a complete sentence. Assumptions were made about my picture that simply were not true. Okay. Um, all, all I did was select the rule that you violated. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what assumptions you're referring to other than um, the correct assessment that you were trying to sell a puppy. That's, that's not an assumption. I looked at your photo, I used my analytical brain, I looked at your personal page, saw that you were selling puppies, and then let you know, hey, yeah, in my group, you can't do that. You actually have to prove that you're a responsible breeder, and then you can do that. And then there's a format that you use to post your puppies. This is so people know that you're not a scammer, and that you're a responsible breeder because both of those things are very important in our group. <sighs> Guess I can't share photos of my puppy without causing offense or breaking the rules. I, I would love for someone to name one group in all of Facebook that doesn't have rules. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Giorgio said, ah, because it serves them. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's just, these people kill me. So the second part of her message, I don't even know what ISO means. Okay, this is a legitimate question on her part. So ISO, in reference to Facebook jargon, means in search of. And it's also part of the rule that she violated, although in her specific instance, that part of the rule doesn't apply. Um, but we don't allow people to post and say, hey, I'm looking for, a, a, you know, Merle Pomeranian. Can you help me find one? Because what ends up happening is that it draws a lot of scammers to the post. 
or people would get private messages and we try to maintain a safe place in our group. So we, we don't wanna do that. Plus then we have to vet every single breeder that responds. It's very challenging. So I understand her confusion as far as this point goes because that part of the rule didn't pertain to her. I see you have a dog breeder as a moderator or admin on this page. Oh boy, here we go. That may explain the hot fired response about me posting my gorgeous poodle puppy. Really, dude? Really? So, yes, an admin of this group, it's not a page, uh, is a breeder. Yeah, that, that is correct. That would be me. Yeah, breeder. Yes. Um, funny, you can identify a breeder, but you don't want to be called a breeder. That makes no sense, but okay. Um, not sure what hot fired response she got. Nobody sent her a message. All I did was delete the post. And then in all caps, not for sale, not a breeder. Really driving that point home. Just really driving it home. Just trying real hard to convince somebody but likely have more experience with poodles than anyone on your page. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Now you're really just making yourself look bad. I have gotten what I wanted to know from your diet suggestions, and I now wish to leave this group. To which my response was, I'm so glad that you learned something while you were here. I, I can be happy about that part. Um, to clarify, I let her know that she is a breeder and that I'm not stupid. Posting a picture of your puppy and saying, oh yeah, this is the last of a litter of four and he'll be 10 weeks old tomorrow. Yeah, come on. Mm, nice try. You're trying to fly under the radar because you didn't do the responsible thing, which is genetically test and preferably do additional health testing on top of that. So yeah, you're not really fooling anybody. And I also told her that I explained what ISO means right? So she could learn from that in search of that will help her in her endeavors. Uh, when people post in other groups and they put ISO, uh, you know, red poodle or whatever, she'll be able to respond because she's a breeder. Just throwing that out there. So I did explain that to her. And then I said, as far as you wishing to leave the group, you don't have to worry about that part, honey, because I've already blocked you. And lastly, I don't understand why it is that people feel the need to send me nasty messages when they violate a rule. This was a very easy fix. If she was confused, she could have just messaged me and said, hey, um, I see that I broke a rule. I, can you explain it to me? I don't know what I did wrong. In which case we could have had a conversation. She could have adjusted her post and gone on with life like an adult. But instead she wanted to send me a nasty message. And I'm like, I don't understand why people do this. It's so childish, please. All of you who are watching this now, we are all members of all kinds of Facebook groups. If your post gets deleted because you accidentally broke a rule, purposely broke a rule, didn't intentionally break a rule, whatever the case may be, please, please, for the love of all that is good in the world, do not send an angry message to the admin of that group 
because if she had sent this to any of my other moderators or admins, they would have had no idea what she's talking about because I was the one who deleted the post. And secondly, it doesn't do you any good. You're just going to get yourself removed from that group for causing drama. So the moral of the story here is if you have a litter of puppies, you are a breeder. Congratulations. Um, and if you break a rule, then just go back, take it as an opportunity to read through the rules again for that group, not just my group, but any group. Go back through and take an opportunity to read the rules, right? And then just do your best to not do that again. Don't send an angry message. Don't, don't, just don't be that person, okay? <sighs> Kathy said, by Felicia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, anyway. Um, I just wanted to clear that up. Because I, I, it completely boggles my mind how many people are that have dogs and they're reproducing and they're running around telling people that they're not a breeder. And then what also baffles my mind is potential buyers who, who then turn around and repeat that rhetoric when they purchase from those people. Oh no, I didn't buy from a breeder. I bought from a family whose dog had a litter of puppies. Okay, well, unless that family rescued a dog who was already pregnant and then did the right thing and found them good quality homes, right, and then got that dog spayed, then, yeah, all the other scenarios, those, those are breeders. Yeah. People are weird. I don't understand it. Anyway, thank you for tuning in for our lovely rant session. If you haven't already, make sure you read the rules, okay? <laughs> because otherwise you may find that you're angry about a post that you made getting deleted or a comment and you're not gonna know why. So read the rules. Don't send angry messages to admins. Also, people who have Dogs who have litters of puppies are breeders, whether they want to admit to it or not. Genetic testing is important. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.